So I finally started reading Paper Towns today. Yep. Um, I read the prologue. So, so far it's a pretty good book. I guess the main character is Quentin Jacobson. And it kind of seems like he has a crush on some girl named Margo, who is his neighbor and the daughter of his parents' friend. So they go to the park, which apparently they go to all the time, and they find a dead body of some sort. So they rush home, Margo with blood all over her shoes, and Quentin all crying and scared. They tell their parents. Quentin's parents calls the police, and apparently they're both... And both of his parents are therapists. So, you know, they tell him not to worry about it and that people die all the time and, you know, make them feel better. So, and, so he goes to bed and Margot shows up and apparently she went down to, she found out who the man was and where he lived and that he was a lawyer, talked to some woman who lived in the apartment building he lived in and finds out that he killed himself because he was getting a divorce and he had problems. So she immediately went to Quentin's house, knocked on his window, and told him all of it. So that's about where I'm at. But what I really don't understand is the fact that a nine-year-old doesn't have a bedtime till nine o'clock. When I was nine, my parents made me go to bed before eight. So, yeah, that's that's so unbelievable. I'm sorry, John, but... You need to think up more realistic bedtimes for your characters. And that's what I thought of the prologue to Paper Towns. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.